I just got done listening to the Mark Levin show. At the end of his 7.30 segment, just before he goes to the news, he made this statement. With a majority of the Democrats in the House and a majority of the Democrats in the Senate, they passed Obamacare without one Republican vote. That is a flat-out lie. I'm sick of this flat-out lie. No one wants to report this lie. But this is a flat-out lie. They don't want to tell you how the inside of politics really works. They use sacrificial lambs in order to pass their agenda. The sacrificial Republican lamb happened to be Olympia Snow, voting for that bill to come out of committee. If she had not voted for that bill to come out of committee, Obamacare never would have been brought before Obama's desk to sign. Sorry, it never would have happened. She is the lone Republican that voted for it to come out of committee in order for it to come in front of a Democratic majority in the House, in the Senate, and then to get a pen signature by Obama. Yes, there is a Republican that voted for Obamacare, and her name would happen to be Olympia Snow. Now, if you want to continue to be a water carrier for the Republican Party, be my guess. But you know what? Quit being dis, dis, uh, disingenuous to the American populace. You know what? Tell them the truth. It was a Republican that did vote for it, and her name happened to be Olympia Snow. And then point out to the American people that if she had not voted for it, it never would have happened. But they don't want to show you how the way the inside of politics really works, because if they did, you would know just how many sacrificial lambs are out there in order to pass legislation that goes against your very fundamental rights. So you know what? I'm really getting fed up with listening to this. She was on the Chris Matthews show right after she voted for it, out of committee, and Chris Matthews is the only one out of any, any, and I don't care what you say about Chris Matthews, but Chris Matthews was the only reporter out there reporting the fact and actually thanking Olympia Snow for passing Obamacare. Why? Because he knew it. He knew once it came out of committee, it was a foregone conclusion. With that being said, I went looking for a picture of Olympia Snow. I came across this article on the Daily Caller. Maine Senate candidate calls on Olympia Snow to resign in face of husband's scandal. Read the article. It's quite interesting. It may give you an insight into why Olympia Snow isn't choosing to run for re-election. No, her, evidently her husband swindled a lot. Not a lot, a lot. Millions and millions of taxpayer dollars. Oh yeah, it's quite the scandal. And I don't think Olympia Snow may have wanted to have been messed up in that, seeing she is a beneficiary of all this. Well, I'm Tim Donovan, and I'm on the right. You want to know where I am, just look to the right. You're going to see me reporting to you what the mainstream media and the conservative media, save one, and that would be Chris Matthews, at least in this instant, reported to you. is the actual truth. Olympia Snow is the one and only sacrificial lamb Republican used to pass Obamacare. Tim Donovan, right side of Kennebunk.